Hey, this is Paul Colligan from Make It Happen Monday. Last week, we chatted about the concept of email bankruptcy, where you go into your inbox, you delete everything, and you start over again. We talked about, we mentioned, we discussed how that should only be done once or else people will not take you seriously anymore. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking it through. You're probably wondering, okay, wait a minute. If I'm touching email and then I'm deleting it, what do I do? I need an archive. I gotta have a history of this stuff. Well, there are different ways to do it, but let me tell you the way that I keep an email archive of everything that I'm doing. I use Gmail. Now, some people find Gmail to be not the most um, respected email address. You know, if you're really in the internet marketing business, you don't want to have a Gmail account. There's actually a way around that. But what happens is, is I use Gmail, and as you guys saw from a couple of weeks ago, I have a public address and I have a private address. Both of those are Gmail accounts. And so the great thing is, when somebody emails me to either one of those addresses, when I archive it, it is in the history of Gmail. So when I want to go back, if I know there's something I need to look up, if there's a past newsletter, a login, a password, a serial number, or something that I want to look up, it's in the archives, but it's not in my inbox. And that's extremely important. So I use two different Gmail accounts. What if you have to use a, an, an email account for your own business? You've got a corporate name that you want to deal with. Well, here's the trick. You have your email address forward to your Gmail account. And then you have your Gmail account send from your personal email address. You can do this. It's not that complicated. The directions inside of Gmail show you exactly how to do it. So what happens is when somebody emails you at yourcompany.com, that email gets forwarded to your gmail.com account. You can then do the searches, do the archiving, respond to everything accordingly. And within Gmail, you have the ability to respond as whatever email address you want. Again, there's a couple of steps you have to go through to do that, but the Gmail documentation is very good. I'm not here to teach you how to use Gmail. I'm here to teach you how to be as extremely effective as is humanly possible. That's what Make It Happen Monday is all about. So the email comes into Gmail. You deal with it in Gmail. You archive it once you are done with it. And then when you send out, although it's in Gmail, it gets sent out from your email address accordingly. This way you can come in, you can have an archive of everything that you've done, and you can maintain that inbox zero status. Guys, this is amazing. If you can pull this off and make this part of your daily routine, I guarantee it will change your business. This has been Paul Colligan for Make It Happen Monday.